Jupiter Media presents Avasar Telecasting Global Opportunity. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Avasar program. This program is all about education and career counseling. Time and again, we are awaiting you people about the study destination, study options, and opportunities throughout the whole world. So today I'm going to talk about studying in Australia program and how international students are surviving in this pandemic period. So for this, we have very special guest from ATMC. She is none other than Sultana Khan, who is looking after the international marketing director at ATMC. Let's welcome her. Sultana, you're welcome on our show. Thank you so much, Sonil, and I'm very glad to come back to you and uh, talk to you once again on your show. Okay, especially as you know that our program uh, is really focused for students and parents, and we are continuously reporting about uh, um, uh, how the international students are um, uh, surviving there at the time of the pandemics. In this case, mm -hmm. Give some information about uh, what sort of the services and cooperation are there at ATMC at this stage. Thank you so much for asking this, Sunil, because I think a lot of parents and students have this question that how the students are coping up who are already in Australia. So the first thing we actually did was we came up with a 24 by 7 helpline number so that we'll be able to assist the students if they need any attention in terms of education, in terms of their assignment, classes, what is happening. So we did that. So 24 by 7 is one helpline number, which we actually introduced for the students who are already onshore, as well as who were stuck in offshore. So suppose they were stuck in India or Nepal, they were able to contact us and they can take more information. Then we also tried to do a lot of student sessions online, like for their you know, services in terms of to involve them as a team, because it's not only lockdown which affected them, but this is socially as well as mentally. So it was very important for us to engage our students on the mental ground too. So we started a lot of classes which were online for the students apart from education. Like, you know, they can uh, just go online and talk about their mental stress. They can do some yoga. They can connect to other students and be a part of the community because we are all facing it for the first time. We have never seen this pandemic before. We have never been in the lockdown. So this is new for all of us, right? So we have come up with the student support services online and 24 by 7 helpline number so that we can be in touch with the students all the time in case if they need us any point of time during the program in onshore as well as offshore. Okay, especially during our different journey program, we are continuously supporting mm -hmm. ATMC. Especially, would yep. you give some information about ATMC for our regular television viewer? Yes, so ATMC is Australian Technical and Management College and we have got our campuses in Australia, in Melbourne and Sydney. Mm -hmm. So we are partnered with Federation and diploma and degree programs in Australia. So students can come and study their bachelor's or master's degree. And recently we have also introduced our diploma program, which we were not uh, offering before offshore, but I have recently launched that in India and Nepal as well, where the students can now come and apply for diploma, bachelor's, as well as master's degree there. Okay, especially how um, uh, does ATMC is delivering global standard education as like as Federation University promises? See, it is actually what we do is the course curriculum and the professors are all approved by the university. It's only the difference of the location because the main campus is in Ballarat. But if the student wants to come and enjoy the life in Melbourne and Sydney, they come and study in our campus. But as I said, the curriculum is exactly same. The course is exactly same. Even the professors are being approved by the university. So standards remain the same. What we do is we also provide additional services like the tutorials, the extra classes, student support services. So this is additional what ATMC provide, but there's no changes or difference between the course curriculum and other details. For uh, mm -hmm. How do you help in international students in this uh, COVID pandemic time? Because you have already like mentioned that you have a 24 hour hotline services there. Is there any that yep. of the incident that you are helping to South Asian uh, students? See, so we understand that students are being affected 
you know, uh, in terms of mentally and financially as well. So we came up with a very big scholarship for the students who were already on shore because we understand that. And we also allowed the student to make the, in, you know, fee payment in two or three installments because that's something we really have to help the students out because one thing when they're there already is the biggest problem for them is how do I pay the fees because I'm studying there. So that's how we have helped the students. And then the students who are even looking forward to come and study with us in November or in next year, we have increased the scholarship for them too. So they can just come join us, take the installment plan, or they can actually study in their home country till the time they're not able to get the visa. Yeah, especially in this uh, pandemic time, students have to utilize this time and uh, different um, uh, universities yeah. and institutions are in setting on these cases. In this case, uh, what is your experience with Nepali students and how you are coping them, especially we, uh, we are really lucky that most of the Nepali students and uh, um, uh, Nepalese society are uh, representing our culture, our society, and our values in different corners of the world. In this case, what is your experience with Nepali students and community? are already starting with us uh, in Sydney, especially in Australia. It's very popular for students from Nepal. They're actually very happy and they're doing really well. Because I can say we recruited one of the highest numbers last last year from Nepal and it has only grown up so I think we are very happy with the students the way they are coping up in Australia the only thing what we have seen for the students currently is they are a little scared of joining the classes online which is something which we all have to come together and say that this is the new world but at the same time this is temporary too this is not for ever it is just for few months so my recommendation is that the students should not be scared come forward and join the classes because we have a lot of students from nepal who are studying with us and they are doing academically great some of the toppers who have the maximum phds this year are actually from nepal so they have topped their classes they are doing really well in Sydney and in online classes. So I'll say that, you know, our experience of uh, working with or recruiting the students from Nepal is incredible. We are very happy with it. Okay, especially in this pandemic situation, students can choose um, uh, as per their interest in different subjects. Yep. So what sort of the courses are popular um, um, among international students? So IT, and business, both are very popular and so is accounting because that's something students really look forward to because technical is something that's the new world. And we also have got uh, a program in health service management because health is another industry which is coming up. So I've seen an increased interest from Nepal for our health courses too. So all the market is generally IT, business and accounting. Like I can see the numbers increasing for IT and engineering as well. So that's something, yes, the students' awareness and the interest is being increasing. Okay, especially ATMC is collaborating with Fedex and University and conducting different educational programs here. So besides, is there any other institutional tie-up uh, to deliver the global standard education? Yes, so we have recently tied up with Western Sydney University as well. So the diploma which we have introduced and launch it will lead to the second year entry straight into western sydney university so now if the student comes and study a diploma with atmc they actually get the credits and get into the second year of western sydney university or they can also apply for federation university so we have got both the university for the diploma program and then of course we have got baxter institute too where the students can apply for their own diploma courses for their engineering fabrication saloon management, business, IT, and a lot more programs. Okay. Are there any future plans to overcome the problem of COVID-19? See, as I said, for the COVID is very uncertain. So we have never faced it. So with time, we are all coping up with it. We are all seeing that how the situation will go. Because right now, as I said, the immediate solution for us was to be available for the students. That's how we were there with this 24 by 7 helpline number. Then involve the students in our, you know, different activities. So we introduce student support services and then ensure that they do not have a gap. So we also come up with the online education so that students can stay safe and do not feel that I'm losing my time. 
and increasing the gap rather just start the education and fly to Australia as soon as the borders will be open. So these are the steps which we have taken and also the financial aid, extended scholarship, allowing the students to pay the fees and installments. So we have taken every step, whatever we could have done in this pandemic. Okay, before wrapping this uh, session, uh, would you please share mm -hmm. how can students find out more about study in Australia at ATMC? So they can actually go on our website, which is www.atmc.edu.au. And we have a lot of partners in uh, Nepal too, you know, so they can actually go and visit them to gain more information. We have our social media pages. So they can just come online and then they can search us or contact us directly. So we'll always be happy to help them out. Thank you so much for your kind information. Thank you so much, Sunil. It was a pleasure. And thanks for doing this great job for all the students. I'm sure they gain a lot of knowledge. Our sir, telecasting global opportunities.